I don't know. I think when you start trying to have like a formula, if you like, for how you make your music, I think people can smell that. I think people know when you're trying to do something that isn't coming from a place of authenticity or realness. Um, and it, you know, it is difficult. Obviously, I think any um, any guitar band would say that they would feel like there's a, an abundance of of artists above them in the pecking order that kind of you know get that I don't know, love if you will um from the commercial entity but I think and then they like you know if you were to then start comparing like the longevity of some of these pop artists or that you're talking about and you compare them to like you know rock bands and guitar bands it's no competition so this is a long game this is about building not only a fan base, but like a family essentially. And and I think that that is something that's always been at the the core of everything. That's anything that's like great about a band, it has that, you know, it has legs and it has that sort of like people come to your gigs and it's it's bigger than just coming and listening to that one song they heard on the radio that year, you know, like it's more about like living and breathing the identity of a record and then the people that are making it and playing it and I think that's a relationship I don't know if that translates with like top 40 music obviously it's, it must be great to have um you know top 10 singles and stuff like that and trust me I'm not I'm not hating on it in the slightest um but but they're different it, it, it's a very different thing it's a very different animal I think you know why why is it that um you know we're we're, we're in the process of you know, we're out of all our deals and the price of, of, of discovering what our next step is. I think we all know what that's going to be, but like, you know, it's no mystery to me that a band about to make their eighth record aren't exactly walking to, and I've just had a number one record by the way, but they can't walk into every single record label in the country and have a deal put in front of them because that's not what people are looking for. People are looking for, you know, one, one or two songs, maybe from that artist in their whole career, they're not bothered if there's like a package of a, of a really strong record that stands the test of time, or if they go on to, you know, play in the arenas or headline the big festivals for years to come, there's not that sort of long-term commitment. And that's just, I think that's kind of the nature of the beast, right? But I think as far as it coming into our songwriting, I think there's been definitely times across the 15 years that we've been together that I would be lying if I said that I wasn't like, looking at what was going on and thinking, oh, you know, how, why haven't we got this and, and why are we not positioned in that way? And I think, you know, sometimes you make records, I call them transitional records, other people just call them bad records. It depends how real you want to be, but like we've had a few transitional records for sure. And it's kind of like during that time, there's always something going on that you're trying to, you're trying to leave the path that you're meant to be on, if that makes sense. And I think, what what great bands should do um and should always encourage one another to do as well is just to like stay true to who you are and what you are what you're about and let your kind of let your sound grow organically and you know you shouldn't I, I don't think you should ever try and make the same record twice because I think you're cheating yourself and you're cheating your audience as well but like you know I think this all this I mean I've had conversations before people are like oh you know we, we only want two minute songs now for like TikTok and Rager and shit like that. I'm like, look, that's that's all good, but that's really not what we're trying to do. And I don't know, um, I don't think that's ever going to really kind of lead our writing and our creativity because that's kind of all, that's kind of all we've got. You know, it's a it's a reflection of who we are as people and as collaborators and and people that have been working together for a long time. Like, I don't now all of a sudden because of of something that's happening, which is great. There's lots of very talented people all the world over that are, are having an opportunity to go and start their journey in music. And that's, that's a special thing. And I'm not going to write that off, but um, sometimes you just got to know which lane you should stay in. And I think we know where we're at with, with mm. music, what we're trying to do. So, yeah. 